This is a Mercure, a Mercure watch I couldn't believe would be as good as it is. I don't know why I thought this, because I thought, well, it's another brand saying they do this, saying they do that, they're really amazing. I said to them when they contacted me, I said, well, all right, my viewers generally like dress watches or mostly dive watches. I said, what have you got? I think this one looks pretty cool. I'll take a look at that one. So they sent it to me. I, I literally forgot about it, but it was a while ago now. And it turned up today. I got it out the packaging. And I must say, it's absolutely amazing. I, I couldn't believe how good it was. I, I thought, hang on a minute. This bit's amazing. That bit's amazing. You better carry on watching. You'll see why. Overall, this is probably the best Seiko homage I've seen. And I've seen nearly all of them. So welcome to the stats and specs section of the, oh my God, it's just died. We can continue. Welcome to the stats and specs section of the Mercure Ocean Master Professional 300. Now, what I like about this watch is, first of all, how nicely it's packaged. This is a $230 watch. If you stick in a code, watch me with watches, which is WMWW, blah, 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 WMWW, at checkout, you should get $40 off. Um, so thanks for Mercure for Mercure for setting that up. That's awesome. So it gives you a great saving. So even without the saving, $230 is around 200 pounds. Um, I don't know about fees because people around the world kindly watch these videos. So I don't know. So you'll know when you punch it all in at the checkout. So link for the store, obviously it will be in the description. So if you buy a watch from Mercure, you're going to get it well packaged is what I'm getting at. And you get it in a nice case with the embossed here. Beautiful amount of packaging, really well wrapped up in here. You get the tag, it's all wrapped in plastic to protect it. Nice little extra pouch here with a stamped warranty card here and actually signed. Uh, a nice little um, polishing cloth and a user guide as well. So it's all crammed in there. So you get plenty of stuff. It's beautiful. It's a proper hard case. So you could use that for something else. And this is the watch that you get. Um, this specific one, of course. Now, the stats and specs are as follows. So we've got 132 grams in weight on this lovely fluoro rubber strap. No, no bracelet option on this specific one. There are different colorways available, so do check them out. I was kindly sent this one, and I'm glad that I've sent the neutral one because I think this will go with anything. You can wear this out and about at work, go to the beach. It's going to go with any kind of outfit, sporting or not. You're not going to worry about it. If you went for the orange one, for example, that might be a bit more restrictive of what you're going to wear it with. But anyway... This is a spec monster. This is what has blown my mind when I when I looked at it. So I'm comparing it price wise to it's, it's seventy dollars less than the Long Island watches. Uh, they do a lot of Seiko homages, so Islanders. I'm comparing it to them in my mind, and I'm also doing the same with San Martin, Steel Dive, things like that. Heimdaller. I've looked at them all, so I'm an expert when it comes to seeing Seiko homages. So I am confident to say already. This is one of the best Seiko homages I've seen yet. And you're going to get to get a feel for that throughout this video as to why. So objectively, you're going to get to see why because of the, the spec. And like I said, 132 grams. It's nice. It's a good, comfortable weight. It's it's just, there's so much to talk about. God, you've got a domed AR-coated sapphire crystal. You've got a sapphire insert in the bezel, which is loomed up to the 20 um, with, with C3 loom. And the loom, when you see a bit later on, it is sensational. It is as good as any San Martin or Kronos or anything. And I mean that. And I've done that by testing it. Uh, so I can verify that by, by experience. And uh, you've got uh, NH35, which you often have with any kind of homage watch nowadays. But it's nice. You've got the matching black date, date wheel. So the bezel is 120 click. And the good news is, is it lines up absolutely perfectly the feel of this bezel i'm not joking is obviously it's down to taste it's perfect because the reason why i say that is it's light there's zero play in it absolutely zero back play no zero wobble apart from me when i knock my camera zero wobble absolutely no bounce or rock or anything there's literally no you think it's going to be stiff it is so well perfectly machined in terms of how it's the bezel is integrated into the watch, but it's just snappy and really lovely, crisp action with the bezel. So if you're really nerdy like I am with bezel actions and loom, 
already happy. AR coated sapphire, very happy. NH35, I've tested it. You'll see after this segment how good the movement is in this watch. Again, it's running very well. Uh, it's well within tolerances. And size-wise, you've got the usual what you get with these kind of this sort of it's like a pillow case, I think is the uh, best way to describe it. But it's so comfortable. It's a relatively big size. I mean, it's a it's a uh, forty. Oh crap! I didn't write it down. I wrote everything else down. Yes. It's a nearly 44, it's a 43, let's call it a 43 case size. But the lug to lug is for only 47.5, so it's quite a bit under the 50. So it, it wears so well, and it is really comfortable. It literally fits your wrist like it was, it, it was, it grew there. It'd be weird if you started growing watches on your wrist, but it's, that'd be quite disgusting. But it's got 22 mil lug width, which is perfectly in proportion to this lovely big chunky case size. And it's a, again proportional, only 14 millimeters thick, lovely big crown, nearly seven millimeters thick crown, uh, diameter crown, really nice. Screw down, screw case back, all stainless steel. Look at that lovely detailing on the back there. Beautiful sea creature on the back. And yeah, it's just really, really well finished. The brushing is impeccable. The transitioning between brushed and polished. We've got this lovely chamfering on the edge here. Contrasting with the brushing on the top, circular brushing. It's so smooth, the transitions. Really nice. And this is the floppiest strap I've seen in a long time. Lovely. And that's, I think, a benefit of being fluoro. Fluoro is a really good grade of rubber. And this is like a super waffle. Waffle, super duper waffle diver. Like it, It's almost like Bowser took steroids and then made a strap. Uh, if you don't know who Bowser is, he's um, Super Mario's arch nemesis. So... It's, it's cool. It's just chunky. It looks it looks menacing. So that's that's a really good thing. So before I waffle on too long, you've got an idea. The spec is awesome on this. Um, uh, sorry, before I go, three hundred meters. It's not a three hundred meter dive watch. That's just a common thing you see on watches nowadays. It's not going to be for deep sea diving. I'll just say shallow snorkeling is acceptable. But that's what ninety nine point nine percent of us are going to ever do with this watch. But before I continue for too long. How good is the movement? What's this look like outdoors? And how good is the loom? Those are the next three segments. Then you'll see me again, and I'll break this down again for a final assessment. So I'll see you in a few minutes. So the NH35, generally pretty uh, reliable, but this has got a great amplitude. They're often lumbering around the 240, 250. It's very healthy, but I've tested this in four different positions, ranging from plus two to plus 12. And so averaging plus six, plus seven is, is definitely perfectly acceptable overall. So this is 20 minutes sped up super fast and this is just an idea of how very little it changes from being very bright to still very legible after 20 minutes. Like I said, uh, it's, it's holding through all night. I can read this eight hours later, it's still legible. So that is really good standing. So you've got a really good idea of the stats, the specs, what's it look like outdoors. The loom is amazing. It's just a cracking all round watch. I re I'm really impressed. I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm not just saying this because I was I was kindly sent this. I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely always open minded. It doesn't matter if I get sent a watch for free or I pay for it. I can't really be any clearer than what I've stated. Uh, objectively, everything tactile that you use on this watch, the screw down crown, really smooth. Look at this bit here. Lovely red bit. So if you see the red, you know it's the, the, the crown isn't screwed in enough. Lovely smooth action, easy to use. Everything pops out really easily. It screws in really easily. Smooth threading on the crown. Like I said, the bezel action, perfect. Absolutely spot on. AR coated domed sapphire. No fluff anywhere under the dial. Loomed sapphire 
crystal bezel insert. Premium grade rubber, fluoro rubber, I suppose not premium, I'd say it's mid-level, premium, you can get higher grades of rubber. A decent grade of rubber with a lovely super waffle, we'll call it, or Bowser waffle uh, strap there. Quick release even. Weird bit of curving going on here. That's something I did notice. Look, you can get a bit of a gap there. I have no idea what's going on there. And that's a bit of an issue, a bit of a snag, if you will, because this watch is obviously not perfect. But I'm so pumped by this watch. But these keeps are quite baggy, but they're actually, when you wear the watch, which actually. I'll put on now, they are the perfect size for gripping and holding the strap in place. They look too big, but they're not. They're perfect. They're absolutely spot on. And this is a bit weird. Keep me awake. What's the relevance of that? Um, I've no idea. It's weird. The font doesn't match any other fonts on the watch. So don't get that. But you know what? It's acceptable. I wish this was brushed as well. A bit too much polishing going on there. Again, it's a smudge and scratch magnet, especially as it's under, underneath your wrist uh, when you're wearing it. But now I like the amount of other polished areas. It's subtle. I think that's I'll take a little bit of issue with this lock. Locking is turning it this way, sort of that way, clockwise. So why would you say lock? And then it's actually unlocking it. So should that say unlock? Or is the arrow meant to be the other way? I don't know. I don't know if there's a mistake or not. I must be being stupid or something. Mercury, not sure about the brand name. Don't know what it means. Sounds a bit weird. Sounds murky almost. But I'm glad it's an applied logo. That's really cool. And they've got nice printing there as well. So it's a bit of a balance. It's, it's obviously not, again, like I said, I'm really pumped on this watch. It's amazing. But... It's not perfect, as I've highlighted some weird little quirks here and there, but overall, for the money, it is fabulous. It really is fabulous. And um, I've, regardless if I paid for it or not, I've really got to be clear on that. I think it's fun. It's a very, very comfortable watch to wear. It looks like a Captain Willard watch on steroids, mixed with Super Mario Brothers somewhere in the line. It is, it's great fun, and it's practical, because it's light and comfortable. You can wear this at work, go to the beach with it. And enjoy the little tactile aspects of how easy it is everything's to use on it. And there's some nice little details to appreciate here. You know, that's really nice. I like the little colour bit here. A little bit of red on there. That's really nice. A little bit of red on the dial. And the loom is so good. And the fact that this date window around here is almost exactly the same size as the indices here. So it sort of all blends in. Nice design. The hand's so long. Look at this minute. Hand, the second hand and, and the hour hand, they're so beautifully proportioned, different design for each one. So really, legibility on this is sensational. Look how long this second hand is. It comes right out. It's almost touching the uh, inner chapter ring. Absolutely fantastic length. And it's white, so it's so easy to see. And even that bit there is loomed, so you can use it as a reference point if you wanted to, counting seconds in the dark, which I don't know we're going to do that. I've worn this watch uh, all night, woke up before the sun rose, and that's one of my tests. I wear a watch in bed uh, when I review a watch to see when it's fully charged at night. When I wake up at an ungodly hour needing the toilet, can I check the time to see how much longer I've got left of a snuggle time in bed? And this is crystal clear at four or five in the morning. You can still read it. it the loom holds out really well. I'm not going to use it for diving. So it's my wee wee timer. I don't know. God, that's embarrassing. Anyway, this is a fun watch. And I'm so grateful that I got sent this and I can share it with you guys because I've never heard of Mercury before. And it's such an exciting opportunity to share it with you guys if you haven't seen one of these before. Uh, it For me, at the moment, it is pretty much the best Seiko homage you can get objectively. But if you don't like this design, you're not going to agree with me. But I love this design and I think it's a winner. I've really, really enjoyed this watch so far. So... Happy days. And if you've enjoyed this silly review I've done of this uh, lovely little piece, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. It's been a real pleasure. Bye for now.